Hello curious people. Today we have another exciting video for you. Today we will discuss one of SDRG's projects in the chemical industry. Since this is such a broad topic, we will see a project where SDRG controls helped a chemical plant with automation and monitoring of its plant utilities. Sometime around the turn of the century, SDRG controls started a project to help with modernization of the utilities unit of a mid-sized chemical plant. Many chemical plants combine their utility feeds in a common utilities area for supply to multiple processing units. Combining the supply of common utilities, such as compressed air, from a common area allows use of larger and more efficient equipment. Follow along as we take you through the project. We hope you enjoy the journey. In a typical mid to large size chemical plant they will have a common utilities area. This area or plant, as they are sometimes called, will include compressed air, water or heat transfer fluids at various temperatures, natural gas for heating, and some waste processing or treatment. The equipment is in a common area and feeds the chemical plant's various processing areas. This particular customer requested us to implement an Emerson Delta V DCS system to control and monitor their utilities plant. They also requested screens that would mimic the screens the operators were used to seeing and using. The customer had a number of air compressors. This included a diesel-powered air compressor for the times when the power failed. It also included an air dryer system. The air dryer system had two desiccant pots. One would dry the air while the other was regenerating. Then it would switch once the regeneration was complete. The customer had a number of cooling towers. Cooling towers were the primary means to remove heat from their plant. This temperature process would transfer heat through the use of intermediate fluids to save the heat energy. The cooling towers would use large pumps to circulate the cooling water. They also had a number of boilers to produce steam for heating. The Delta V hardware was housed in a central utilities control building. The panel which was installed in this building was built in SDRG's shop. The customer wanted to try some field bus control loops in their utilities system. SDRG accommodated their request and first simulated the field bus system in the shop to ensure proper termination and communication. The overall DCS panel was also shop tested. The Delta V system was provided with a historian station. SDRG controls configured this station to collect a variety of utility parameters along with time and date stamps. This allowed the customer to review an event or anomaly in detail to identify exactly what happened. Separate Delta V controllers were used for each boiler. The boiler historian data was also collected so detailed studies of events could be analyzed. SDRG was requested to make the boiler displays appear similar to how they were represented on their old system. The new Delta V screens appeared similar and also integrated new features. The customer was very happy with their new Emerson Delta V DCS system. SDRG controls has helped many chemical plants. Whether it has been a commodity product or manufacturing a one-of-a-kind chemical through a proprietary process, SDRG has been there to help control the process and make it perform as desired. This desire to help includes custom algorithms, specialty controls, or just applying the most modern control and monitoring systems. SDRG is there to help reduce waste and control machines which turn this waste into saleable products. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please press the like and subscribe buttons to see more videos like this. We appreciate your comments and look forward to you watching the next video. Thank you.